Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. She's been here before. Hey. Miss <laughs> Jessica Dupart. Welcome hey, back. Jessica. Thanks for having me again. Welcome. Now, Listen, you, you know we know her from uh, Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. Yes, and we love the progress that you've been having, just up, 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 and up. Because I remember first meeting you in New Orleans and seeing where you are today. And you have this book, When the Miracle Drops. And people know you so well for your Miracle Drops from Kaleidoscope. This is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also dibbed and dabbed into quite a few other things, like mm -hmm. real estate. I hear that you're big on that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm big on philanthropy as well. I saw that $10 million property. Now, I saw your whole life in the slideshows from mm -hmm. just for the past few years, what you've been doing. So just talk to us about building your social media empire, building this brand that's worth millions of dollars, also having these amazing videos on social media with celebrities that people laugh at when they see it, but it also helps promote the brand. So many people want to be social media influencers and figure out how to build their own empire. So let's talk about you and how you got it going. Okay, that's great, and it's also in the book. Yep. Not to keep plugging it. Um, no, that's what you're here for. That's what we're here right. for. We're talking about the book. book. <laughs> right. We're going to do some cliff notes, and this is going to make people get the book because this is going to be your Bible to starting a business. Right. We actually have all kind of diagrams and um, workbook things in here, you know, like activities, so people can be a little bit more interactive. But my story itself, I was a hairstylist for, for years. I decided to dip into hair products. I took social media. I took the social media route. I hired comedians. I found um, a problem that people had, like hair loss, and I, instead of shining a negative light on it, I, I turned it into funny. Mm -hmm. And I was able to make well over $15 million in a few years. So from there, I try to give as much education as I can to people because this is stuff that I feel like college, like what what, what we're doing now has, hasn't been done before. Like mm -hmm. it's me and I have a couple of other friends that all are on social media and I'm making a lot of money on social media and it's stuff that's not being taught. I think right. you could quadruple that if you can help our friend over here, Charlemagne. Yes. Can you do guy hair like, <laughs> the miracle drop work for that? No, that's too to much of a miracle. I tried to reach out to Charlemagne so many times. <laughs> really? So uh, I definitely gave you a bottle last time we were here. Mm -hmm. I gave it to my wife. But I gave it to you. For the use? They used on you. Look, you see he got his hood on. You know what that means. That means he need a haircut. He look no, like Robocop right, right today. now. Oh, yeah. A little bit. It, put it back on. Lord, <laughs> no shade, no shade, no shade. But can you help but, guys? I see a lot of guys doing a lot of crazy things now. Yes, they're, they're guys are the, embarrassing the themselves. tattoo, I see the toupee. The wig. The Beijing. The Beijing. The Beijing. Yes, the, the Miracle Drops work for hairlines, you know, the ones that are one, two, three way back. They work mustaches, well, eyebrows, two, three way back. Uh, So beards. how does it work, how does it work on your, 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 your hairline or your eyebrows? You just put it in and it starts growing? Well, I suggest if you're going to do your eyebrows, use a Q-tip so you don't go blind because, you know, it's a, it's a dropper. But you use it every other day. Mm -hmm. And it just, in your hair start growing? Yep. 7 to 14 Charlamagne, days. let's try it. Let me see you try it, bro. But what does it do? Does it stimulate the hair growth? Like the hair yeah. follicles? The, this is what I say. The layman's terms of it, because it rejuvenates the scalp. But what it does is it kind of it kind of breaks down the, the areas that are either dead or have been clogged with other stuff that you have, whether it's shampoos, soaps, like all kind of stuff that people put on their hair concoctions. Yeah. So it kind of breaks that down. Mm. And it kind of just pushes the, the hair. Through. What about if you have alopecia? It works for that as well. Mm -hmm. Alopecia areata, alopecia, alopecia senalis, alopecia prematura. It works for all that. So, so it's some success stories. Yeah, if it stops growing, it can start growing again? Like, I have I have before and after pictures all over my social media. Mm -hmm. People yeah, that so. we know? I heard you did DJ Self. That's true? Sure. You definitely did do Self. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the book. <laughs> Back to the book. <laughs> So I, no, but I do run into uh, young people all the time that are like, how can I build up my following on social media and how can I become an influencer? People really want to know what are some of the steps that they but can But you know make. what? The influencer thing is the thing that kind of takes me out. I didn't do it to become an influencer. Mm -hmm. I became an influencer by doing it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't get on social media and say, hey, I want to influence people. No, my story itself put me in a place to be able to influence mm -hmm. people. Like, somebody reached out to me and said, hey, I want to be influenced. I said, well, what does that mean? Right. Like, how do you, like, when, if you go about your life and you live your purpose and you do everything you're supposed to do you're going to inspire people anyway because you're going to have success yes it, success is what inspires people it's, it's not really oh hey let me because it listen that's a huge responsibility yes. that's the stupidest title ever to say that you're an influencer because as soon as you call yourself an influencer i don't want to be influenced by you no more because i feel like you're forcing <laughs> things on me. right you know what i mean right but not only that i also say why well, be popular for free like i have mm -hmm. i have um i was talking to a friend of mine 
oh, and she has a lot of followers. I'm like, well, why are you not selling nothing? Right. Why is it that you haven't attached? Like, these people want to support you. I'm not saying pull people money, but these people want to support you. Mm-hmm. So let them support you. you know? And it's also about engagement, too, because you can have a lot of followers, but if people don't engage and actually want to support what it is that you're doing, because there are people who have so many followers, but their engagement could be really low, where right. people trust you. and. Well, I also think that depends on the brand, the person, what they stand for, and what they've done. Because you will have a lot of people with millions and millions of followers, but it's behind foolishness, so mm-hmm. it's, it doesn't really have any substance behind it. But you have these people that have followers that have substance or that, that are giving back or that are teaching you something, whether they're fashionistas and you into fashion, whether it's something like I, I got a $10 million property and everybody's asking me about real estate. I'm, I'm still a novice. I haven't even been in eight months. What mm-hmm. kind of property? Is, is it your personal home or is it an investment? It's a, um, it's a commercial property. Okay. It's yeah. a commercial property. Where, uh, in New Orleans East. Where my warehouse was. New Orleans is a big market now for for. I bought the whole strip. That's what it is. Seven point eight strip. acres. That's what I'm talking 65, about. Sixty five thousand square feet. That's it was it was it was huge for me because I'm you know banks were fighting over the loan. What I'm, you gonna do with it? Uh, my plan because it has three empty lots in the front. It's 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 a strip. We have like I don't know twenty thirty businesses back there, mm-hmm. and it 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 makes like pretty good monthly profit. But my plan is long term. I wanted to spruce it up on the outside, you know, paint it, mm-hmm. change a couple of light fixtures, but to attract a regional tenant for the front. Mm-hmm. You know, so what I pay for it in three to five years, I know I can add a few million onto it to sell it back. Or if nothing else, keep it. The Right, keep it. Because mm-hmm. the monthly profit is is really good already. And yeah, I love New Orleans. Leave, you can never lose a commercial profit. And New Orleans is doing so well, man. People are moving to New Orleans. So many businesses in New Orleans. I mean, that's, that's one of the next markets I'm going to look at New Orleans. I like New Orleans. So was this for you a plan that you had, or was it things started? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> Hell no. Like, I, growing up, I just wanted to do hair. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to do hair. Once the, um, the the social media part of it took over, you know, I I then started reaching out to people, mentoring people, teaching people. And then some of the people that I mentored, you know, now are, are big and now are doing all the rest of it. So now everybody's trying to look to me and say, hey, what are you doing and how did you do it? So that's the whole reason, because I never thought I would be an author. Right. Mm. I, I don't. I don't. To be honest with you, I didn't really like to read. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know, I, I I never expected that. And the only reason I jumped into real estate is because my accountant made me. Wow. Because so I IRS, I was gonna you. have to pay IRS like six hundred thousand dollars. So I had to shift the money somewhere. Right. You got to actually spend some of that money so you have those tax write offs, or else you're just giving it I'll away. I'll make sure she say that. <laughs> No, that's legal. That's she invested her yeah, money into real estate. Yeah, I mean, it's legal, but I don't think that's you should. That's the truth. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it. no, but that's the smart thing to do. If you just have money sitting in the bank that you've but made, see, you the, have the to pay. But the IRS wants you to spend it. They, yeah. they want yeah, 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 yeah. to invest it in the community. That's Especially, what Trump does while I he bought don't pay a, no taxes. Um, yeah. Yeah, I bought an apartment complex. I bought that. I, yeah, my first. I did an apartment complex, a strip center, and a condo as my first thing with real estate. And then the the deal that I did recently with the $10 million, the owner of the building, he said, I feel so, you know, I feel so inspired by you. He gave me a million dollars worth of equity at closing. Wow. That's dope. So... That's amazing. You have such an amazing story. You know what else I think helped you when you were first starting out is that you had such a recognizable look. Right. And I think that really made you stand out. But that helps because now everybody that sees you is like, oh, okay, I recognize her with the hair and everything. That Things like that, I think branding yourself in a way that people look at you and you stand out and then you're recognizable so that they are used to seeing you and now everyone knows you already anyway but I think in the beginning it is important for you to have something about you that people can say okay I know who she is I recognize her I get it well that and I, I, I would love to you know kind of stand for what I always say if I could do it anybody can I didn't I didn't go to college for mm-hmm. business I didn't go to college mm-hmm. for none of that so you got I, a skill though right doing Absolutely. that hair that's a I good did. trade. People I did. That. That's a good, I did. That's but a great then trade. I, I, think, I think the biggest thing was my creativity and my Entrepreneurship, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know what else is important? Having good people around you. I agree. Because there's people that can lead you down the wrong path and give you, you know, we we do have to ask for advice and listen to people as well that we trust mm-hmm. and that have she some type of knowledge. You but you've right. had some good, <laughs> you've had some good people around you. Well, that and, you know, we are in the era, in my opinion, of women, uh, mm-hmm. You know, women empowerment, women togetherness. Like we women are coming together and rising, right? Rising. You know, I have a friend, um, Supercent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she's uh, doing she great. has a crayon case. She's also a multi. She's another multimillionaire. You know, we we kind of rub off on each other. We kind of, you know, um, there's a lot of things that we still do together, mm-hmm. even with our crazy schedules. So, what has been some of the hardest parts of running these businesses for you, though? 
If you had to tell people these are some of the obstacles that I've had, and let me just put you up on game so I can make it a little easier for you, what are some things that have been difficult? Staying encouraged. Um, sometimes I, the the mo- the motivational side of it, like looking for looking for what can I, what else, what more can I do? What you know, like I'm big on philanthropy, so we did and. Not to toot my own horn, but it got the Guinness. Me and uh, Super got the Guinness Book of World Records for the most. Close to the, the mic. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm sorry for for the, giving away the most toys in 60 minutes Damn. around Christmas How much at, y'all at the away? Superdome. That's a nice five thousand nineteen five thousand nineteen toys in 60 minutes, in 60 minutes at the oh. Superdome, and it was crazy. We had volunteers running across the thing. It was it was crazy. Um, but it was it's we we just trying to make our city look good to mm-hmm. be honest with you because it's so frowned upon. And shout out to Larry Larry Murrow from uh, New Orleans too, man. Yeah, I, mean, I love him to death. That's Larry, Larry's a, my a homie, good friend man. of mine. We're a good guy. That's another one. It's like we have so many so many success su- success stories coming out of New Orleans. At young mm-hmm. entrepreneurs, these mm-hmm. people are young. These people are seeing millions. These people are putting back into Absolutely. the community. It's just it's, and it's showing crazy. kids another way good other people, than yeah. athletics and entertainment. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. All right, so now you're in, you have the real estate. Obviously, you have the kaleidoscope, which is your uh, kind of the core of everything that you do. One hundred percent. You got a and book. You have your book. You also go on tour, and you do you give your um you know you give away your knowledge on tour mm-hmm. as well. So what else is going on for Jessica? Whatever God this leads book. me to. Yeah, this book. I like the, this, this thank book. Thank you, Charlemagne. See, so you're looking out. You know, <laughs> this book. They, they well, say you know, so much I am bad a New York stuff Times about you. Best-selling author, so you know, I just know. <laughs> well, listen, I'm about to be. Yeah, as, you are. As, as soon you as, as the numbers come out, I'm about to be. As soon as these numbers come out. Well, thank you for joining us. No, 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 no. We're not finished. Slow down, Wait, we're not finished. Let me listen. Let me say this. Listen. You Okay, and I'm I'm just gonna give the numbers. You know, I've been able to see over 15 million dollars. Okay, and so I tried to in a few years. A few years, mostly social media. A couple of million might have been other stuff, but mostly social media. So this is all engulfed in this book, and it's a it's a breakdown, it's a how to, and then it has a few of my life stories attached, so you fully understand. Mm-hmm. So for people that are trying to have a business, that have a business, they want to grow their business, it's just the best thing to get. Okay. And just because they read your book and 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 you know attempt to do what you do doesn't mean they're gonna make fifty million dollars. Just an inspirational story. Right, correct. But yeah. at the end of the day. If they follow you the might steps, make forty million. That's right. Yeah, 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 or you yeah, yeah, might yeah. make two hundred thousand. There you go. You gotta but just and, do and, it, right? Because I've seen, I've seen people, I've seen people surpass what I've done. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? Sometimes people also do this, right? They want you to invest in their company, but they don't even have a plan. A business plan. Yeah. And when people come to you and they're like, "Oh, can you invest in this?" and you're like, "Okay, so what's happening? Show me what your business plan is. Send me this. Send me that." And they can't do it. And it's so important for people to I have their own plan. Just don't expect people to just give you money to do something. Well, I'm. I'm, I, I can honestly say thus far I have not invested. A lot of stuff I've given, but I have not invested. I don't mind investing my time, but I've mm-hmm. not invested any money into different businesses. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll walk you to it, but you have to have, like you say, you kind of have to have your plan. Like you have to, hey, I, I, I want to do this, but I don't know how to execute it. I'll be okay with helping you execute it, but you have to have the beginning. Like people come to me, hey, I got $10,000. What should I do? I can't tell you what you right. should do. I can just tell you how to do whatever it is that you have a passion for. Mm-hmm. But I can't tell you what you should do. All right. So. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. And thank you for always supporting us because I know you supported uh, my podcast when I do my podcast. And Jessica and will be it, on absolutely. Lip Service Live also. So be, I'm kind of nervous. She'll be joining us. Doing. She's nervous because it's going to be a different kind of talk oh, for man. her. Okay. You, you got a boo? Is your boo here? Boo, I'm single. Oh, man. Oh, oh. well, we're really going to wild out then, so let's have a good time <laughs> at Lip Service. Jessica dudes, is single. A lot of single, dudes, single a lot of, dudes right a now. Lot, she, <laughs> a lot of dudes losing their pubic hair. They want to know how to get it back, so you got the miracle drops for them. <laughs> Shut up. I, you know what? I'm that sounded even. like a personal question for him. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Jessica, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, it's The Breakfast Club. It's Miss Jessica Dupart. 